Hey everybody, my name's Nick and this is my 2007 Dodge Dakota SXT pickup truck. It's a it's got a 3.7 liter V6. Kind of got it parked a little weird here. I'm the second owner of it. First owner was an elderly couple. Never been smoked in. I uh, picked it up at Kenwright Auto Sales in Monroeville, Alabama. It's the front tires. It's got decent tread on it, but it's definitely going to need some new tires. I'm planning on getting those the beginning of uh, 2014. And I'm currently making it a Mossy Oak edition because Mossy Oak and Dodge has a partnership going on with you know, where that you can get a Mossy Oak edition Dodge Ram, but they don't do that with the Dakotas, so I'm kind of taking that upon myself to make, as far as I know, the first Mossy Oak edition. Dodge Dakota. This is a four door. And uh, I'll show you some of the custom things that the first owners put on, like the, as you can see, the pinstriping here. That's custom done. They put a locked gas cap on. And you can see the little lanyard here from the original. That's no longer useful. I might cut that off one day. Um, I'm not too sure if that's factory or not. I see a lot of these Dodge Dakotas like this where I live and I never see the SXT on the bed and like this style. So I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe someone can tell me if that is custom. Um, but as far as I know, I'm not sure. Uh, and then the custom tail light cover here. The chrome or plastic chrome anyway. And that is on both of the tail lights. And uh, I had to put this on myself. Uh, my ex girlfriend bought this for me for my, my birthday uh, back in August. And uh, it has, I don't know how well you can see that, the two pin types <sighs> so that is the outside of the truck I'll show you the inside now oh and they also put these plastic chrome deals here on the handles uh, the back ones turning black Uh, on the inside here all right I sh I'm pretty sure you saw the mossy oak tag on the in the back windshield and then uh, got the mossy oak windshield decal the mossy oak steering wheel cover and you know the piece of paper mossy oak matching uh, floor mats I'm also planning on getting seat covers and in the back is a mess I'm moving so but in the back I'm gonna get the bench seat covers uh, there's no cracks in the windshield at all uh, like I said this or maybe I didn't say it I'm not sure but anyway this vehicle's never been smoked in uh, the headliner it's not sagging at all there's no rips on the visor here there's a mirror there although they don't have it on this one I don't know why <laughs> the dashboard I keep pretty clean uh, I use uh, see here. if I can get it I use these 
turtle wax cleaning wipes. They work pretty good. They have a scent to them. Uh, I want to say it's an apple smell. But, I don't know. Then I have this in my truck for some protection. <laughs> it's a rubber police style baton. It's legal because it's rubber. But if you can get a metal one. Or maybe even a wooden one. I think it might be illegal. <sighs> Let me get the keys. And of course it has the standard key here with the built-in remote. It has, I have some of these little air freshener vent clips in. I bought the, I got the truck back in March or April. It was shortly before graduation. I'm class of 2013, high school, but uh, they, they still work pretty good. AC works pretty good or it works really good actually <laughs> uh heating it's it's getting cold here now but or cool so i haven't really gotten to try out that yet but works pretty good here you have your settings and all your different settings and your button for ac on ac off stock stereo and stock speakers in the door uh, a land, I mean, not a lanyard, um, an auxiliary cable that I'm borrowing from a friend. And I am borrowing it from a friend. I don't do purple at all. Purple or pink. And I know people say, well, real men wear pink. Well, uh, if that's what it takes to be a real man, I think I'll just stay a boy. But, and they got a little cheap MP3 player. I didn't want to spend $70 on the Sony Walkman and it gets stolen or something, or I lose it or whatever. You've got this truck has two power outlets. That's one right there. And then inside of the armrest here, you have one right there. And that's on a constant wire. Or it's constant. I just got my CDs in here. I listen to mainly Hank Williams Jr. Uh, I like Johnny Cash. Uh, I got some Eric Church. Crit, um, some other folks, but. Then you have another one right here. That's a spit bottle. But you got your cup holder right there. And here I just have some necessities. Like I keep my empathy player in there. A box cutter for work. A, let's see if I can get it out here. Garmin Nuvi. It's an older model. Uh, I don't actually use this one a whole lot. Because on my Android... I have a GPS on it, and I like using that one better than this one, because this one right here, you have to type it all in, and with this, the one on my phone, you can just speak it. Extra straw, because McDonald's likes not to give you straws sometimes, so one day they gave me an extra one. Highlighter. Name tag. That is my name, Nick. Some pennies. And, uh, of course, right here, you have your coin slots. So, then right here, you got a pen. Uh, there's no, well, there's lights on now, and I'll crank it up in a minute and show you. But the check engine light doesn't come on at all. Whatever that light is, it doesn't come on when it's on. It has that many miles. <laughs> I'm not an expert on how to read the miles. When it comes to numbers on anything, I, I'm pretty dumb. So I'm pretty sure you can just look at that and tell what it is. But let me pop the hood here. I actually broke this. I was on my way to Bacalar, and my truck just turned off. Fortunately, I wasn't on a main highway, but it just turned off, and I, I wasn't used to, I, I was used to my first car, my first vehicle was a 1991 Ford Tempo, and I traded it in for this, believe it or not, but I thought that was the hood release, and I just yanked it up, and it broke, so I had to pull this little thing out that was used to be connected to that, so that's useless, but I'll 
pop up the hood and show you the engine. And here she is. She's a little dirty. I used to live on a dirt road, but 3.7 liter V6 battery alternator everything's good on it she has a recent oil change I changed the oil last month uh, and I'll also when I'm on my seat put my silk on it I'm gonna put the vinyl on the bug guard and on the rain guards so alrighty show you how the radio sounds this is just a CD So me and my ex-girlfriend's stepdad, he's pretty good with radios and everything, so he got it as close to being, well, he's got it good anyway, and it's got good bass on certain songs. I got one Colt Ford song, and it sounds pretty good with the bass, so I'll crank it up and let you hear it. It's kind of quiet, it's got stock exhaust on it. Uh... I'm planning on whenever I get it paid off. I got five years to pay for the thing, but <clears throat> I'll probably get it paid off as soon as I get a better job. But anyway, it's got stock exhaust on it, and I'm thinking about maybe when after I get it paid off, putting dual exhaust on it. But with it being a V6, I don't really see that being a big priority. But here it is. The only light you'll see is the seatbelt light because I don't have my seatbelt on. There's no check engine lights. Yep. So that's pretty much about it. Oh, one day I'll probably do a test drive video on it but right now I don't have that much gas and tomorrow's payday so we're good but uh this has been my 2007 Dodge Dakota SXT 3.7 liter V6 uh, and if you'd like to see more videos of when I on the steps of how I personalize it with mossy oak or anything else like for the back windshield I want to try to find the Hank Williams Jr. Eagle or bird or whatever his logo is to go on the back but I might even go with a rebel flag type deal or some browning bucks or something but either way it goes uh, I'll you know make videos on it anyway but you know if you like the video you like the truck you know give me a thumbs up or if you don't thumbs down uh, you know but thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time